Hi, I'm Alicia. And I'm Susan. And we're gonna be making a bolo tie today. I can't believe you're leaving for that music festival already. I know, I wish you were going with me. It's gonna be so much fun. I know, I'm so jealous. I know, but I need a necklace. Because right. Because I'm wearing this really flowy dress with some booties and a big floppy hat, but I need a necklace. Okay, well I've been thinking about what you told me. You said you wanted a bolo tie. Yes, I did. Style necklace. And yeah. so you said turquoise, leather, and gold. Gold. Those are your favorites. Gold. Yeah. Right? Okay, so I have some stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna decide and I wanna see if you like it. Okay. So here is this leather. Oh, that I, I got it. <laughs> I knew you would love this. You could wrap this around twice. Yeah. Around your neck so some of it comes across here like a choker. And yeah. It comes down to the bolo. And then this is actually a necklace finding, but I thought we could turn this into the bolo piece. Oh, see yeah. See how it kind of slides like For this? Sure. So you can make it longer and shorter. Easy. And that's gold. Yeah. With your leather. Check, and check. Check, check. And then I have these turquoise beads. What do you think? Um, yes. Check. You love it? Yes, I love it. Okay, cool. I love the shape of those. I know. Uh, they're going to look really cool, and they'll just kind of hang down. They don't really go with my outfit, but they'll look fantastic with yes. what you have on. So, woo, there we go. That's all we need. First of all, we have to know how long you want it. So, you're going to have to wrap this around your neck, girl, and see how long, like, where you want the end of the bolo tie to be. Look. <laughs> it looks good like that. <laughs> Right here. All right, so I'm just gonna trim that right here. You know what, if it ends up too long, we can always shorten it. Yeah, I don't so. think it'll be too long. I don't think so either. I'll I just think. keep wrapping. Yes, you could do like a double wrap. Yeah. Okay, so I've got these little pieces on the end. See, this is actually supposed to be the, the back of the necklace. Like yes. that hangs down the back of your neck. We're gonna use these on, and we're gonna hide them on the inside of this leather, because it'll poke right yeah. through. Yeah. Pretty easy, right? And got some 24 gauge gold wire. Love some 24 gauge. Oh, no, it's so great. And so I'm just gonna pull this a little bit, like so. And the first thing we have to do is make a wire bind. Have you ever done one of those? You've done one, yes, right? Yes, I've done one. Yeah. I want to kind of secure that little end. And so I'm just gonna, I was thinking I could wrap this wire around this first. Yep. To secure it. And then I can use the rest of this wire to bind the leather together. Yep. Like it? Yep. Okay. So far, so good. It doesn't even have to look that good because I'm gonna hide it. Yeah. On the inside. So I'll just trim that off, like so. And then hey. stick it through the braid. All right, so I'm just gonna pull it through. There we go, just like that. And then, just kind of hide it in the middle. Good, start wrapping. Mm -hmm. And we want to wrap this kind of tight, I think, yeah. to make sure it doesn't come undone. So the middle, that first wire is kind of already hidden in there, and then we're just going to kind of wrap this around. And see how I'm kind of pulling it tight like mm -hmm. that? I want to go around about five or six times to really make sure that that is not coming undone yep. on you at the music festival, just like so. And then I'm gonna open this up and hide the end on the inside. What do you think? Yep. Good? Good. All right, I'm just gonna take some pliers here and I am going to push that down on the inside because you wanna make sure that that end is never gonna be seen again. So I'm really gonna make sure it's tucked down in there good. And then I can trim by a little bit. Boom. Just like that. Just so like good? that. Yep. Okay, so I think that's really secure. And now we need to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm using 24 gauge wire because I want something that's gonna be secure but not difficult to wrap. Yeah. It's important that I can fit it through my stones because we're gonna be putting those on a little bit later. Yep. And it's also important to have something that's secure enough that it's not gonna pop back open yep. on this leather right here. But I don't want anything too heavy because then it'd be really hard yeah. to wrap and it wouldn't be pretty. There you go. All right, so you're ready. I'll take this little guy, wrapping it around the binding here. <laughs> Just gonna wrap it around. Make it even. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gonna hide it. Awesome. All right, so now I love this tie because it has two little rings at the bottom, so mm -hmm. guess what? <laughs> All we have to do is add these. I'm just going to do a simple wrap. Something simple? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Simple, simple. All right. So I'm just stick it through the stone. And I'm just going to wrap it. Easy. Yep. Anything easy. I need a round nose. I happen to have one right no. here. <laughs> oh, you're so lucky. Yes, I am. Yeah, there you go. Whatever you like. I can't wait to wear this. Chunky monkey. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
Um, I love it. Very cute. I'll do the other one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your 24 gauge wire and I'm using about a foot of it. And I'm going to put the wire through the top of the speed. And you can see that it's top drilled. And then you're gonna bring the wire up and together right at the tip of the bead. And then I usually like to take my plier and just grab right above the top of the bead and take this little extra piece of wire and wrap around two times just to get it started. And that'll hold on to it. And trim off the extra wire with your flush cutter. Flush cutter, yes. And then I'm going to take this wire that's sticking up out of the top and I'm gonna bend it back into kind of like a 90 degree angle. And then I am going to roll this back into a half circle and then pull it down and around the round nose plier into a full circle. And then I'm just gonna take my chain nose plier, hold on to my circle so it stays pretty, and then you made this a little chunky, so I'll do that too. You can wrap over the top of the tip too, and that'll keep it from twisting back and forth. Just like that, and I'm just gonna straighten up my loop. And I'm going to clip off the extra wire, take my chain nose plier, and if there's a little piece sticking out, you can just use that to kind of tuck that in. This is, really, this was like one of the easiest yeah. necklaces I've ever made, and it's so adorable. So cute, and you can stack it with other stuff. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm, I'm gonna be like. You're gonna have so much to wear yeah, on. I, I know, I can see you now. I'm, I'm gonna wear this. my rings you made me the other day. Your little stack set? Yeah. Yeah, very cute. Oh, yeah. So cute. I love, I love it. it. Thank you so much for helping me make a bolo tie. You're welcome. And I will take pictures of it with my dress on because it's gonna look so awesome. Was, I love it. Do you I like the supplies good. I picked out? Yes, yes, I love the supplies, awesome. especially the turquoise. Really cute. Mm -hmm. yes. And the leather. And I'm a gold person, so we're all set. You know me. This you is, look this great. Is straight up Alicia necklace. It is. Yes. <laughs> 100%. Thank you so much for watching today. If you guys would like to pick up some supplies like we used today, check out the links down below. Are there any other trendy necklace styles you'd like to try? Leave me a comment about it down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And now that you know how to make bolo ties, you can say, I made this. <laughs>